In a hyper-connected world we live in, control over your digital life is everything. For years, two titans dominated the smartphone operating system landscape, seemingly untouchable. But what if I told you that a silent, relentless force has been building, growing, and is now poised to fundamentally rewrite the rules? A revolution that few outside of a specific region truly grasp. Welcome back to our channel, your pulse check on the cutting edge of technology and the shifts that truly matter. Today, we're ripping open a story that's not just about a new phone OS. It's about a geopolitical tech seismic event. We're talking about Huawei's Harmony OS and why its seemingly unstoppable rise means what you thought you knew about smartphones, smart homes, and even smart cars is about to be completely recalibrated. Get ready, because this isn't just a threat, it's a takeover. And frankly, what you need to know about it is far more critical than you realize. Many of you remember the headlines. The U.S. sanctions hitting Huawei, cutting them off from crucial American technologies, including Google mobile services. It was painted as a crippling blow and into Huawei's global smartphone ambitions. And for a moment, it looked like it. But what the world didn't fully grasp was that this wasn't just a crisis. It was the ultimate catalyst. Instead of collapsing, Huawei embarked on one of the most ambitious technological independence projects in modern history. They didn't just fork Android. They meticulously engineered a microkernel-based, distributed operating system from the ground up. This was Harmony OS, or as it's known in its pure form, Harmony OS Next. This wasn't about surviving. It was about building a sovereign digital future immune to external pressures. This was about self-reliance born from necessity, forged in adversity. The genius and the true power of Harmony OS isn't merely that it runs phones. That's a foundational misconception. Huawei's vision extends far beyond a single device. They built Harmony OS as an all-scenario intelligent operating system. Imagine a true super device where your smartphone, your tablet, your smartwatch, your smart home appliances, and even your car don't just connect. They literally become one fluid, interconnected entity. This is powered by Harmony OS distributed technology. It breaks down the traditional barriers between devices, allowing them to share capabilities and resources seamlessly. Think of it. You're on a video call on your phone, then effortlessly transfer it to your smart TV to continue the conversation on a bigger screen, using your car's powerful speakers for audio as you drive home. This isn't just mirroring. It's deep hardware synergy and resource sharing. This level of seamless cross-device integration, powered by their distributed soft bus, offers an unparalleled user experience that even Apple's formidable ecosystem is now working hard to match. But what's an OS without apps? That was the initial skepticism. Well, that skepticism is rapidly being shattered. Huawei isn't just attracting users. They're attracting an army of developers. By June 2025, Harmony OS has reportedly crossed 8 million registered developers. Think about that scale, a massive community building a truly native ecosystem, free from Android compatibility layers. This is Harmony OS Next, a pure-blood OS, as it's sometimes called, designed for performance, security, and true multi-device deployment. These developers are flocking to a platform that promises develop once, deploy everywhere simplicity, thanks to tools like their multi-device IDE and the R compiler, which translates code into machine language for incredible efficiency. This significantly reduces development effort, making it highly attractive. In China, Harmony OS adoption has been meteoric. While Android still leads globally, Harmony OS for Huawei devices has not only solidified its position, but has already surpassed Apple's iOS in market share within China for Huawei devices. This isn't just a trend. It's a market takeover in one of the world's largest tech landscapes. Before we delve deeper into the global implications of this monumental shift, if you're finding this breakdown valuable and you want to stay ahead of the curve on the biggest tech revolutions, please hit that like button right now. It helps us know you appreciate this deep dive. Now, to the question that truly keeps industry leaders awake at night. What are Huawei's global ambitions? While Harmony OS initial focus was internal, driven by necessity, their strategy is now clearly shifting. Huawei has explicitly stated plans for global expansion of Harmony OS by 2026. This isn't a tentative step, it's a calculated offensive. The target is clear, 
to become the third major global mobile operating system, directly challenging the Android OS duopoly that has reigned unchallenged for over a decade. But how do they plan to do this outside of China's unique market conditions? They face significant hurdles, including the perceived app gap compared to millions of Android apps, and, of course, ongoing geopolitical tensions. However, Huawei isn't backing down. Their strategy involves leveraging their deep hardware integration, their burgeoning developer ecosystem, and potentially targeting regions where they still maintain a strong brand presence, such as parts of Southeast Asia. They're also rolling out Harmony OS PCs, further signaling their intent to build an entire self-sufficient tech stack. By mid-2025, new Huawei laptops are expected to run Harmony OS natively, completely bypassing Windows. This is a game of digital sovereignty, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The implications of Harmony OS global expansion are profound. This isn't just about consumer choice. It's about control over data, digital infrastructure, and ultimately technological power. If Harmony OS achieves significant global traction, it could accelerate a broader digital decoupling between East and West. We could see a fracturing of the global internet, leading to different tech standards, different app ecosystems, and potentially different approaches to data privacy and censorship. For consumers, this could mean a more diverse, but potentially more complex and fragmented digital world. For governments, it raises critical questions about national security and digital sovereignty. Some experts even suggest we're heading into a new digital cold war where competing tech stacks become strategic assets. The rise of Harmony OS is a direct manifestation of this geopolitical shift, forcing every nation and every tech company to reassess their dependencies and strategies. This isn't just a technological shift. It's a fundamental reordering of power in the 21st century. So, what does the future hold for Harmony OS and, more broadly, for the global tech landscape? Huawei is relentlessly pushing innovation. We've seen the developer beta for Harmony OS 6.0 debut at HDC 2025, promising even lower latency expanded AI capabilities, and a new intelligent agent framework for seamless human device collaboration. Features like tap-to-share and multi-user collaboration across devices are just a glimpse of their ambition. The long-term vision is clear, to integrate every aspect of our lives into a seamless, intelligent network powered by Harmony OS. From smart homes to smart cities, from personal health devices to industrial IoT, Huawei aims to be the invisible operating system connecting it all. Their resilience and relentless pursuit of independence mean that, even under immense pressure, they've not just survived but are now leading a technological charge. However, the path forward is complex. Critical questions for Huawei's future include the challenge of rapidly bridging the perceived global app ecosystem gap. Attracting major international developers beyond China will be paramount for achieving widespread adoption of Harmony OS outside its home market. Furthermore, while deep hardware integration with Huawei's own devices is a significant strength, the question arises whether Harmony OS can succeed as a platform on devices manufactured by other companies globally. Building a broader alliance of hardware partners could be key to effectively challenging the established Android iOS duopoly. Huawei's strategic open sourcing of the Harmony OS core represents a significant gambit. Its long-term success in fostering a genuinely independent, vendor-neutral ecosystem that extends beyond Huawei's own devices will be a major determinant of the platform's global influence and resilience against geopolitical pressures. The depth and effectiveness of next-generation AI integration across the entire Harmony OS ecosystem will also be crucial for competing against the sophisticated AI ambitions now fundamental to iOS, Android, and Windows. Ultimately, navigating intense geopolitical headwinds presents a fundamental challenge. Huawei must successfully manage complex international relations and convincingly assure international markets and governments of the platform's inherent security and neutrality to achieve its global ambitions. The question isn't whether Harmony OS will have an impact, but just how pervasive that impact will become, shaping everything from your next smartphone purchase to the very infrastructure of global data. Its success could redefine not just mobile OS, but the fundamental architecture of connected intelligence. So, Huawei's Harmony OS isn't just a new kid on the block. 
It's a formidable force that has evolved beyond expectations, proving that necessity truly is the mother of invention. The West is indeed scrambling, and the implications of this monumental shift are only just beginning to unfold. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you had any experience with Harmony OS devices? What are your thoughts on Huawei's incredible rise and its potential to reshape the global tech order? Do you believe Harmony OS can truly dominate outside of China? What do you see as its biggest hurdles and opportunities? Regarding Huawei's future, what are your predictions for Harmony OS in the next five years? Can it achieve its global ambitions? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of what's next for our channel, what other major tech shifts or geopolitical tech battles do you want us to dissect in our upcoming videos? Drop your suggestions below. Your input helps us decide what groundbreaking stories to bring you next.